Watch it guys, is your virtual machine running slow? I've got VMware here and it's running real slow and it's taking forever to start up and it's very sluggish. I'm gonna show you how to fix this in this video. So I've got VMware Workstation open. I'm just gonna to go to my settings here and show you that I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM. On the processor side, I've got two and two, which is plenty for a virtual machine. And all the other settings are as is, pretty much those two are the most important ones. Now, when I click on the start button and start up my virtual machine, you'll see it becomes very, very slow. And it's a very slow performance for this particular machine. Now, my machine is very powerful and yet it's super slow at starting up. This part is okay. And then it moves to the next stage and then you'll see it really does grind to a halt. And this is exactly the problem that a lot of people are probably gonna have. And I'm gonna show you how to fix it in this video. It's pretty straightforward. But you can see here, it's really struggling and it's virtually not even loading up Windows. So let me go ahead and show you how we can resolve uh, this problem. And I'll show you a number of things that we can try to try to resolve this issue. So what I'll do is I'll close off the virtual machine and we'll go back to our normal Windows system, which is running uh, the actual virtual machine software. Now this is for VMware Workstation and also VMware Player. So if you're using any of those products, then it's probably gonna be uh, a good fix for you. So let me quickly close this off and we'll shut this down. I'm just gonna power it down because you can see it's pretty much grinding to a halt here. And we're gonna close this off as well. And the first thing we wanna do here is we're gonna to go to the search box. Now we're gonna take a look at core isolation. Now this is a security feature that's built into Windows now, and it sort of reduces uh, attacks on your computer. And uh, it's not enabled by default, uh, but I enabled it and uh, again, I'm going to turn this off to see whether it rectifies the problem. If you've got it enabled, maybe turn it off and check it and see whether that resolves your issue. And you can always put it back on if it doesn't. Let's go ahead and type CMD and open up the command prompt as administrator here. And this will open up the command prompt box. And we're going to type in here this command. BCD edit, then go space, forward slash, set, and then space, hyper, Advisor, just like so. So let me just quickly type this out here. And then we want to do L A U N C H, which is launch, and then type, and then space off. And then just push enter, and this will turn that feature off. So let's go ahead and uh, turn this off. You can see the operation completed successfully. And again, you can do these one at a time to see whether this resolves your problem. I'm going to go ahead and show you all three of them and you can try them one at a time. So next I'm going to type feature, turn Windows features on or off. I'm going to go into the Windows features area here and you can see I have Hyper-V enabled here. Having two of these enabled like Hyper-V and try to use a virtual machine like VMware, it can conflict sometimes and it can cause a bit of an issue. So I'm going to turn this off as well as I use VMware more than Hyper-V. So let me go ahead and turn this off. And we'll click OK here and apply it. It does take a bit of time, but it's going to ask you to restart your PC, which is perfectly fine because we need to restart anyway to make these settings uh, settings done so we can then try our virtual machine. So once this is done, it'll probably ask me to restart. So just going to let it finish off here. And there we go. Windows needs to be rebooted. So let's go ahead and restart the system. I won't bore you with that. And there we are back at the desktop. I'm going to open up VMware Workstation here. I'm going to go back into our version of Windows. Let me just quickly open this up. Open two of these. There we go. And go to Windows 10 here, which is actually Windows 11, and click Start. Say yes here. And we'll let this start up. And hopefully we go straight to the desktop now because we've turned those features off. Let's take a look and see whether this has resolved our issue. So we get the same thing going on here. It was after this part that it went really, really slow and we had an issue. Hopefully that is not the case anymore because it was becoming unusable and I could not use my uh, VMware workstation. So we'll let this load in. There you go. You can see it's going really fast now and it's loading in perfectly fine. And hopefully 
we should get to the desktop pretty quickly. Now at this stage before, with those features enabled, it was uh, really sluggish and slow. And as you can see here, it's actually loading up perfectly fine. Now it might be a little bit slower than normal because I've been forced closing the actual virtual machine because of the issue that I was uh, uh, having. Uh, so it will take a couple of boots. It might boot up this time, and then I bet you that after I reboot this, it will work really fast, and it should get to the desktop. But it is actually getting to the desktop with no problems at all here. So I just want to let this whole cycle go through so you can actually see that it is actually fixed it, because I don't want to skip the video, and then someone says that it didn't work and I didn't show the full uh, scenario. So let me go ahead and let this load in. And as I've said, because I've been forced closing this down, it may have caused a bit of an issue, uh, but it will rectify itself once it's done a full boot. So let me go ahead and let that happen. So there we go. We're at the uh, desktop here. And we should now let Windows load in because it needs to load in. And you can see it's everything's working perfectly fine, as it should do. Anyway, I hope this uh, fix has been some sort of use to you. If you've had VMware Workstation and it's really slow, or maybe you're using some other sort of virtual machine software, check some of those settings on there to see whether that rectifies your problem. If you're using more than one virtual machine software, they can conflict a little bit, and you've got to be a bit careful because that can also cause problems. Anyway, that's about it for this video. My name is Ben Prime from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Special shout out to Celtic Glad, Edward Kelly, also, RTX Brody, Gary Capic, PC Repair Tech, Vitality, Fields Computer Repair, Ron Hicks, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, Welsh Tony One, and Halbert Houston. I really do appreciate the support, guys, and I shall catch you in the next video or on our Discord server. See you over there. Bye for now.